your kindergarten art skills will come into play with today's creative concept. We are going to party, brace yourselves, we're going to party with a stack of paper. Just strips and loops to make the standard paper chain into party decor. You can do it small and simple, or you can take it way over the top. It's an easy way to celebrate the everyday, a goal of ours around here in Studio 5, and a goal of my next guest to help us do that. Welcome to the Pretty Life Girls. These are sisters, Sam Spenlove and Liz Welker. So fun to meet you. You're gaining up on me today. I love it. Yeah, and I'm feeling your fun up. vibe. I love, the, I love the name of your blog, of your platform, the Pretty Life Girls. Is that the goal, just to improve, kind of boost the beauty of life around us? I would say so. I mean, we like to do attainable crafts, things that people can afford, but that maybe we elevate a little bit with trends or colors or design elements, but anybody can do it. Just like this project, everybody's made a paper chain. Yeah. You probably made it as a kid. You probably made a countdown chain. You probably have decorated a Christmas tree garland. And it's just a basic, simple craft. But if you add some fun extra elements, it makes such a big difference. Here's the best part. I'm so glad you're here. And so are my producers because I've been hounding them for like months. I'm seeing these paper chains, you know, with design and colorway in them in such cool ways. I'm like, we've got to talk about how to do that. It would seem like an easy party application. Is that fair to say? It is. And you're right. You're starting to see them everywhere. Just last night, we were at City Creek and yeah. walked by Albion. Albion, I saw that yes, too. Yes, and their window displays are these beautiful paper chains that match the patterns in their store. And we couldn't believe it. We were like, yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're showing up everywhere. And it's such an easy thing. You know, you're busy, we're busy. Yeah. Sometimes you only have an hour after bedtime to throw something together. And this is something that is inexpensive and uses simple supplies that you can fit in whenever. Okay, obviously we need paper. What else do we need to get this project going? Okay, so just your adhesive of choice. So you could do hot glue, tape, staples. We found with some of our papers that there's coatings that hot glue doesn't stick as well too, so it's nice to have these others. Or what? if you're using a heavier weight, yes. A so in one of our where hot glue doesn't work? <laughs> I, I know. know. <laughs> so yes, your adhesive, paper cutters of some kind, a slicer is great because you can be really exact with your sizing, uh -huh. or just scissors. And then you'll need your different tools for hanging it up, which you'll get when we kind of go through each step. Okay, now here's the genius, and I'm laughing at myself, like literally jokes on me. I had no idea when you see the designs yes. or the color play that looks cool and purposeful. I, in my head, it's like, are you folding and hanging and stepping back and looking? But no, there's a science to it. What have you done <laughs> totally. with it? So this, this is, is hilarious. sort of my brainchild because I'm a little bit like mathy. And so it's so simple. You just make a grid like on Google Sheets, of like you a do. table, <laughs> oh and gosh. you fill it in. And the beauty of it is it helps you know how much paper you'll need, yes. how many strips of each. And then you can just sit down with a movie and throw it together pretty mindlessly, seriously, which is our guys, favorite kind of craft. I seriously was thinking like glue one, stand back, no, no. is it working? But you've gone mathematician on us. Yes. Totally. And you know, if you don't want to make up your own, we have these that you can just use. I love, oh, you have these downloads? Yes, yes. We'll have them on our blog by the time this is on. So, Perfect. Yeah. Okay, and is this where you guys balance each other out? Kind of right brain, oh, yes. left this brain? Oh, yes, this is not me. I have to count. I, I have to I keep messing up. I have to tear them apart. And Sam's are perfect every time. I time. love it. You guys are coming together with like the perfect combustion of talent <laughs> yeah. and gifts. Okay, talk to me about the ones you've done in studio, the installations that are behind us. Okay, so this first one is sort of where our passion started. Okay. Earlier this year, we were hired to do a backdrop for a company that was sponsoring a conference here in Salt Lake and they wanted something big and crafty and pretty that maybe people would want to stop and take a picture in front sure. of. Sure. So we got on Pinterest, naturally, and found a few ideas, sent them to them, and one of the ideas was this beautiful paper chain mural from the house that Lars built, Brittany Jepson, and we hoped that they would want that You're one. You're like, vote, vote <laughs> for this. paper chain. Yeah. And they did, and so we got to make this really pretty one, and this is similar. This one is a little bit different because there are lots of different things you can do. You can change the width of the strips. Okay. You can also do big chain and small. Oh, so big link, small link. You've and got that every will other. hide more of the background. Okay. So that's a tip we like to give is alternating big link and small link. Got it. So that you don't see as much background coming through. Got it. And the color, the vibrancy. I mean, how do you choose what colors you're going for? 
Oh, we will spend so much time searching out color schemes, but it's perfect because if you're having a baby shower and you know the gender, or if you're doing a bridal shower and you know the colors the bride is going to want, or you're doing a birthday party for a kid and it's themed with, you know, a tiger or an animal, you can you can kind of mix it up and, and have it to whatever theme that you're going for. Okay, so over your pretty shoulder, pretty life girls, there's a yes. rainbow. Is that where the pattern, the grid paper comes into play? Totally. So this is a smaller scale version of this one. And this is more of an art piece, something you can hang in a kid's room. I love the idea of it for a classroom. It also would be really adorable for um, a birthday party. You could put like the number of the age that someone's turning, that sort of thing. I've seen all kinds of different graphic elements done. So with this, you're trying to do some sort of graphic element in cool. the chain. Oh, it's so, so cool. here we did a rainbow. Yeah. And it's the same thing with Sam's where if you turn the chains, you'll see that it's big, small, big, small, big, uh -huh. small. And that's going to make it so that your images really show through when you're trying to, you know, have someone, some, a distinct something that you can see right away. I am so smitten with this idea because we've all been in a party place where you need to fill a big space. I didn't mean to rhyme. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Seuss. But, and you need to do it inexpensively and this totally. is a solution. Let's translate to home. Give me the 20 second kind of definition of how we could pull this off with a photo backdrop. You kind of touched on that, Sam. Yeah, so you can download our template yes. and pick, just switch it with the colors that you want to use. And then you just slice and do your paper chain. So we, these are the strips that we used and you will just, oh, the sticker's still on it. And you'll glue it and you'll just link it until you have these. And following the template, you'll just go row by row. And I like to put a number inside the top one so it's easy to just throw on a you, dowel. You are mathy. I I don't it. do that. I don't do that part. <laughs> Liz is like, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> just throw it on and see how it looks. We could use this as a as a wall hanging just to fill that space that I talked yes. about. There's a garland effect down front that's a nice compliment. Yes, and the fun thing about these garlands is we use the non-traditional kinds of paper for them. So you can see we used tickets that you might get at a carnival for some Clever, of them. Clever, you guys. You can even find these in the um, office supply part of Walmart. They have tickets, but you can get them online. We got ours on Doris.com, and they would be fun for a carnival birthday party we saw someone do these for a wedding in all white tickets oh. and it adds kind of a cool graphic element with you know the text that's on the ticket yeah. I didn't know they came in the fun colors that's I know what I didn't so know. many fun colors and we also made some out of paint chips so if you see down below oh my goodness you can, I mean clearly those are free and these are the ones though that we had trouble with hot glue sticking on oh, so you're shiny. going to want mm -hmm. to do a staple definitely okay and 30 seconds we got to talk about this mini guy I yes. mean talk about adorbs everything in mini form is that much more darling isn't it Yes. Totally. And that's just a basic paper chain glued onto skewers. The only contingency with these is you'll want to use like copy paper instead okay. of cardstock just because it will roll better instead of full lighter weight and yeah <gasps> all right you've inspired us today and I'll tell you these girls will inspire you online and beyond what's next for the pretty life girls what's coming down the pipe well just the holidays so we've got a lot of Halloween costumes that we're doing for kids super easy something you could buy a sweatsuit and add something simple to nice. and then of course you know Thanksgiving and Christmas decor and gifts so holidays are our favorite time on and the block. now you're together we're right together. Yes. Yes. In state as I you just know. moved from oh. New Orleans so I'm Thank so you. excited be back in Utah. Right, where can we follow you girls? The blog is prettylifegirls.com okay. or on any social media at Pretty this Life Girls. This was so fun. Thank you. Thank nice you. to meet you. Well, don't you just want to hang with them and be their best girlfriend? Oh. I am, right? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right, I'm in. I'm in the Pretty Life Girls Club.